Good morning, class. Starting today, we have a new student. Peter, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Peter Griffin. Um, I was actually in third grade a long time ago, but I never finished. Back then, we had a teacher named Mrs. Wilson. Except, except we had this funny little nickname for her. We called her Mrs. Killson because she had an abortion. I know, I know, it's kind of silly, but we were, you know, we were just a bunch of kids. I'm sorry, go ahead, Mrs. Uh... Wilson, thank you, Peter. Why don't you sit over there next to Omar? Omar is our top student, and we're hoping he'll lead us to victory next week in the district spelling bee. What are you doing in our class? You're old. Are you stupid or something? Oh, picking on the new kid, huh? Well, at least my parents didn't name me Gamer. <laughs> wow! I never knew you could make fun of someone for being homosexual. And by laughing at other people's sexuality, somehow I feel better about my own. All right, Susie. What have you brought in for show and tell? This is my Malibu Barbie doll that I got for Christmas this year. She comes with a hairbrush, a pocketbook, and two different dresses. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Peter, I would like to remind you that you are in a classroom. Not for long. Can I help you, sir? Hi there, my name's Glenn Griffin. Uh, I'm here to pick up my son Peter for a ball get a uh, doctor's appointment? Peter is your son? That is affirmative. Uh, because you look a lot more like that child over there. Daddy? Oh, God! Daddy? Oh, God! Papa? Oh, God! Hey, there are no kids in here, right? No, just me. Oh, thank God. You want to have unprotected sex? Hey, Omar, want a Hertz donut? Um, okay. Hertz donut! <laughs> Dumbass. Wow, he effectively silenced Omar by hitting him in the face. My dad hits me, but I bet if I hit others, the pain stops. Someday, I'll use what I've learned here on my wife. Peter, is this your homework? Oh, hold on, let me take out my reading glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. I could flunk you for this, but butt liquors is a three-syllable word. Not even Omar can spell those. So, you're joining him at next week's district spelling bee. If you lead our school to victory, I'll let you pass third grade. But if you lose, you fail. I accept that challenge. Late 70s Bruce Jenner, take me home. Hop on, Peter. Our next Spelling Bee contestant is Omar Mahajarifa, something September 11th. All right, Omar, your word is candy. Candy. C-A-N-D-Y. Candy. That's correct. Our next contestant is Peter Griffin. Peter, your word is tree. Can you use it in a sentence, please? There is a tree by the lake. Huh. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? I like to bring transient hookers to the old oak tree where I asphyxiate myself at the same time I'm watching them have sex with each other. T-R-E-E, -E, tree. Correct. <laughs> We're now down to our final two competitors, Peter Griffin and Omar North Tower. Omar, you'll be going first. Your word is coagulate. C-O-A-G. A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. Bet you could spell box cutter. I'm nine years old and I'm Indian. <sighs> All right, Peter, if you spell your next word correctly, you win the competition. Your word is lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping for double headed marital aids. To him. Wait, can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. -E -S. Correct! I did it, Lois! My God, I did it! You sure did, Peter. I'm so proud of you. Way to go, Dad. Yeah, you're a smart fella, Dad. And you're a fart smeller, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home.